All right, question for our audience. What color was Jesus? What color? Black. Black? Yeah, what color was he? Caucasian. 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 Jesus was a human. If you're a Christian, you believe that he was the second son of the Blessed Trinity. He was uh, the son of God. He was divine, but he was expressed as, in his 33 years on earth as a human being. And now coming forward are not a few very, very active people to say that the presentation of a white Jesus down through history before people of color has served to characterize the Caucasian as superior, right. as the best, right. as better than others. Right. And more than that, has perpetuated a lie on the people of color and continued their enslavement. That's right. Here's who's here. Blair Underwood joins us from L.A. Law. Blair, Blair needs no lecture on this. A lot of black folks don't go for this black Jesus at all. Been praying to a white Jesus all their lives. This is their Jesus. And no activist of the moment is going to come along and rip that imagery out of their soul. And they're just as proud of their blackness as anybody else. It doesn't have to do with all this psychological stuff that you newfangled people. Keep bringing on. <laughs> Blair uh, Underwood has produced a, uh, it's, it, you know, it's mis misleading to call it a movie. It's a 30-minute uh, short film. Yeah, a 30-minute film in which he plays Jesus. Let me show you just a piece of that, Blair, and then we'll, we'll gab here a little bit. Jesus, this is the crucifixion. This is right at the beginning of the film. Just a moment to show you. Watch. Here is the beginning of the film, uh, titled The Second Coming, which was written, produced, and as you see, uh, starred in by uh, Blair Underwood. Um, you should also know, without giving the story of this film away, that the historical Jesus then uh, appears in your film as a contemporary black male. Right. Who is in a mental institution, and they're scared to death of this guy. And, I mean almost to the point where, you know, they're just beat, beating him down. Did the Rodney King thing inspire you? Oh, most definitely. Uh, I've talked, I've been very outspoken about things that I have dealt with with the Los Angeles Police Department. Uh, friends of mine, uh, young African-American males with the so-called justice system. And when the Rodney King, the first verdict, came out a year ago, it hit me. Said, I said, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a so-called celebrity. It doesn't matter if you're Rodney King, even Christ. If he were a man of color, were to come back, he would be treated the same way. So in the film, that's why he's accused of this, this heinous crime without giving too much of it away. But I, I, I need to make the point before Please we get into this, because this can get very heated as it has before. Well, well I don't know. We've got a pretty, <laughs> well, a pretty thoughtful audience here. You know, uh, they will offer their own insightful, civilly oh, course, uh, structured commentary here in just a moment. <laughs> but it's important for people to realize that this film is not about dividing people. You've seen, this audience has seen the film. It's about understanding, it's about enlightenment, it's about what well, this man, Jesus, whatever he looked like, yeah. what he taught, his philosophy yeah. of love. But we're dealing with this historical figure. Yes, uh, next, we are. Uh, uh, what color was he, Blair, in your own... Are you, you are a Christian? Yes, I am. You were raised a Christian. Yes. And, uh, you, you know, this is not an investigation, but I mean, was it, you better get to church or mama's going to have to know why? I don't know. I, it was pretty much like that, yeah. Um, all right, so that you... Uh, 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 was it Baptist? Baptist. All right, so you sang all those hymns to Jesus, and I'm sure that Jesus in, throughout your childhood was white. Is that so? Uh, that's, that's correct, but we were always told that he was a man of color. Before we get into it, you have to understand what is black. 
What is blackness? Blackness is one of three things. It's either a perception, what you see. When you look at me, Phil, you see a man of a darker hue. It's either a state of mind, a consciousness. That's why I have friends of mine who are white, and, you'll say, and, and, and they know more about African-American heritage and culture than some black people. And you'll say, well, this, this white guy, he's black. He's a brother. Thirdly, when we talk about blackness, it's defined by your ancestral lineage, your gene genealogical line. If you go to the genealogical line of Jesus, there are people of color throughout his lineage completely. And it, it, the thing is, before anybody can take issue with this film or with this entire issue, and it's not a novel idea, the significance of this film is it's never been on camera. A black Jesus has never been on camera. Right. Certainly not a crucifixion. Um, so it, it's been there. And, it, and it's important to establish yeah. that because of all the things you said, we talked about right. the justice system. Well, but, but once we get beyond that, then, and only then, it becomes irrelevant. Yeah, let me just, like. I want to make sure I understand your position here, Blair. Um, you do seem to be finessing a bit. Uh, the color is a matter of the heart, and mm -hmm. you're right, there are bl white people who have been so very, very uh, exemplary in their continued effort to ensure that the civil rights of all people are, are protected, mm -hmm. that, that people of color, minorities, have started to refer to them as brother or sister. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Mm -hmm. um, but they're still white. I, I think you are, you are suggesting that there's some pretty good historical anthropological evidence suggesting that Jesus just probably was black. Am I correctly stating your... Uh... Right. That's right. right. You are, okay. In that... Was he a Jewish black guy? Do, and, and do oh, we, there's no question. We're talking about was. a Jewish man from Jerusalem who more than likely, there were no camcorders or Polaroid cameras then, but more than likely had to have been a man of color. We're are talking you, about probabilities. Are you there, caller? Uh, yes, Phil. Uh, I just want to say that when God said he was going to make man in his image, he did not mean white, green, or any color. It was supposed to be spiritually like him. Very good. And that's what is important. Well, yes, yeah, well. Thank wait you, a minute. Hold Thank it. You, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, that's, that's, I tell you, caller, I, I very much appreciate your thoughtful comment, except you are kissing a baby here. Uh, and you're waving a flag. These politically active people who want to, as you'll see in a moment, there are people who are taking down the white Jesus because that is, he was, he was, he has been presented for 2,000 years before peoples of all color as a, Corca a Caucasian oh European. I got through. Europe. Oh, we got, you got two lines coming in on one. That's a pretty good sign, Blair. You've kind of rung the bell here. <laughs> So please don't miss the point. It's not enough to say, hey, we're all God's children. If you continue to present Jesus this way before little African-American children or people of color all over the world, they grow up somehow believing that way down inside, white is better. Plus the fact that we're talking about the historical figure. We are created in God's image, in God's image. But this man, Jesus, the actual yeah. human being we're speaking of. Are you there, caller? Is yes, I am. You wanted to say. Yeah, I wanted to say, I'm a 32-year-old white female who was raised Catholic, and I, I just have to say that no matter if Jesus is black, white, green, red, I believe in the supreme being, and yeah. I think that's what we all have Very to good. look may at. I ask the, and, may I ask the Catholic this question? Yes. How, would it be okay with, uh, do you, I assume you're a churchgoer. Well... No, not as much as I was. Well, but you've been all right. Well, that's not this. Uh, would you? Uh, would you? Would you approve of your uh, pastor changing the color of Jesus' statues to black in your church? If that was what my church did, that as I view, I don't look at a picture of Jesus and say, "Oh, that's Jesus." I have a feeling within me right. that there's a supreme well, being. But what and color it has Je what, what color, color has Jesus been? throughout your childhood. White, and what I color, think that's ridiculous because... What color was his mother? You know, who knows? And I don't think anyone... I don't think any... Those people that are on your show that there are... There were, I must tell you this, I'm older than you are, but uh, there were no black statues in my childhood. Well, right. There were, I mean everybody, St. Teresa, Joseph, everybody. Everybody, I had a guardian angel was white. Right, they were all white. And I'm just saying, but just because that's how we were raised doesn't mean, doesn't mean that we have to be so narrow-minded and so focused Blair agrees, on I'm sure. We yeah, can't but... open up our minds and our hearts to something different. She's missing the point. It, it is twofold. 
you have to answer this question twofold. It's important because when you speak of this man, when all the evidence points to that, it's an affirmation of people of color. I'm speaking of Latino, Asian, African Americans, Na Native Americans, people of color. It's an affirmation of our place in history that we contributed. I'm telling you, people wonder why there are riots and why there are bl uh, blacks and Latinos in jail so much. There's no self-image. Right. When, when, when you deal with revisionist history that has been revised and altered as it has, it deals with your self-image. You don't care about life anymore.